Welcome to our lecture online and now that we've learned all kinds of things about chemical kinetics I thought it would be a good idea for us to review the various ways in which you can find K the rate constant, the, the constant that, that's associated with how fast a reaction is taking place so we learned a few things first of all we had the rate law that tells us that the rate is equal to the constant times the concentration of A now this is in a first order reaction where we have like a decomposition reaction where A then turns into B plus C here we have the equation that represents uh, the rate at which a reaction is taking place. For example, the slope represents that rate, the vertical axis represents the concentration of the reactant A, and the horizontal axis re represents T. If we find out how much or what the concentration is of the uh, reactant at some point in time, we know how much time has elapsed since the beginning of the reaction, we know what the concentration is, and we find out what the slope is, at what rate is the reaction taking place from that we should be able to find K K is simply then the rate at that point divided by the concentration of the reactant at that point another way in which we can do it if this is for example the type of reaction where we have multiple reactants uh, turning into something else and then we have the rate law which is equal to K times the concentration of the first reactant to the order N so N and M here represent the orders and times the concentration of B to the M order and so forth if there's more of course you keep on adding and then of course the K the constant is equal to the rate of the reaction at that time divided by the concentration of A raised to the nth order and the concentration of B raised to the M order another way in which we can find is to go back to our logarithmic equation where we have the natural log of the concentration of A the reactant is equal to minus KT plus the, nat the natural log of the original concentration of the reactant so if we solve that equation for K we can see that we simply take the difference between how much of the reactant we have today uh, not today but at this moment in the reaction take the natural log of that minus the natural log of the concentration initially when the reaction first started divided by the negative of the time that's elapsed so far and that gives us K K is then of course the slope of that linear relationship that uh, this looks just like the y equals if we write it y equals mx plus b equation in algebra so again it's, it represents the rate at which the reaction is taking place uh, the larger k is the steeper the slope the faster the reaction takes place and four if we know the half-life of the reaction for example if we know how much time has, got, has gone by so that now we only have half of the original concentration of the reactant left if that is the case we know that the half-life is equal to 0.693 which is the negative of the natural log of one half divided by k we saw that for k so we get 0.693 divided by how much time it took to get to only half of the original concentration of the reactant and from that we can find k as well so here's a nice little summary of how to find k the reaction constant now we'll go on and show you some more videos not just of first order equations or multi-order equations and see how we have to come up with these same equations for the more complicated types of reactions